Well, good evening. Uh, 4 2020 Moved the RV today. Had to stop at a neighbor's house. Uh, we had some crosswinds. Uh, damn near blew the truck over. I had to stop it. Stopped at a buddy of mine's um, down the hill. Um, he's got a bigger truck. We're going to utilize it after the rain passes tomorrow. He's got a big cold front coming through. Here go the winds today. You know, when you're in the mountains, it's a totally different ball game. You know, 20 miles an hour, that wind hits the mountain and comes back. Ergo, the wind shear. And you can look it up. You can go on YouTube, anywhere, and watch semi-trucks being blown off the street. Not going to let it happen. Put the kibosh on it. I saw it going... I saw, I saw tilting, I saw a lot of things. I was in the back. I was like, nope, let's stop right here. We need a bigger truck, just like in Jaws. Need a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, need a bigger truck. Um, so that's happening. Um, I talked to my friends and we all made a game plan for uh, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, let's see how it dries out. My neighbor down below me, I met him today and we talked for about 30 minutes. Great guy, uh, Stefan. And uh, he's a Harley rider. We both got bikes. Um, we both have the same ideas. We're both close in age. It's just, what a great guy. And uh, he's gonna be one of those long-term friends. We had a great conversation. Um, <laughs> of course, he's a little different than I am. Uh, I don't know what's going to transpire in the future, but he's got chickens and goats and donkeys. And, and he doesn't have as big a piece of property as I do. But you know what? He loves animals and God love him. He's got plenty of them. A cute little place. It's uh, right at the base where my property starts that's where his his little house is and then you go up the mountain from there three quarters of a mile and then you find my place um no he's going to be a great guy uh that was a wonderful thing you never know about your neighbors until you meet them right so awesome day today uh had to move that thing quick because they didn't have they didn't have temporary tags so I had to follow them pretty close and uh, we got through it but the wind was too bad and need a bigger truck because God love my neighbor he did resurface the whole drive ergo why it's so wonderful however until it's packed down any little rain, any 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 kind of water gets underneath that. And it's and it's like a skating rink, you know, you can you gotta be careful. So, you know, tomorrow's another day. I can go up there and there's several things I can do in uh, as a preliminary preparation scenario. You know, if it rains all day tomorrow no problem. I got laundry. I've got an airbag recall on my truck. I scheduled that for Wednesday at 930. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. I need to go back to the storage unit. I need to pick up more things. So, you know what? If it takes a couple of extra days, so be it. It's not the end of the world. Um, I re-up for another week at the hotel another 400 bucks you know you gotta love these people everybody's out to help no one's out to hurt what a difference so you know it's a wonderful thing um i probably go over and help my neighbors um they need to have a wall built they got their bathroom together i help them hang the ceiling probably build that wall and uh, get him ready for his uh, <clears throat> his door that he wants to make 
Um, got the recoil on Wednesday for the airbag. Uh, probably going to have some gravel delivered up there because, you know, I've got such a big area. And I do have some water problems. And if you look at the video I sent in, little tidbits, you know, I got I to gotta prepare for ripping out the interior of this RV. It ha it's got a lot of water damage. It's, it's pretty severe. And, uh, you know, we'll just go from there. You know, this is like, you know, old school playbook. You get rid of the old and put in the new. I can use some uh, door skin material. It's like 3 sixteenths. It'll mold to any configuration I need. And uh, I'm not worried about that. It's going to look better than it did. You know, dated. Get rid of it. So, um, I'm a mile away from getting that damn thing up there. I was worried about this from the beginning in the previous videos that I sent out because of the wind shear, because of the road, because of what it really takes to get something that can tip over and fall down 80 feet and be destroyed. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we we have our mission and uh, we don't make any mistakes. And uh, I can go now. We have a schedule. Um, go do laundry, go do some food shopping. We know we're going to be here until next Saturday. I know that I got to get a hold of uh, Duke Power, start them, start the process of uh, running that line down down the property. I need to rent a uh, front end loader or a uh, or something to move earth, and uh, I'm probably going to rent it for a week. It's usually about you know four or five hundred dollars. Usually, uh, if you rent something when you rent equipment. The week price is going to be better than a day price. That's a no-brainer. Even if you use it for four days, put it on a trail or take it to my neighbor and let him use it. You know, barter. That's going to buy me some more time. So, I hope everybody's happy and healthy. Uh, I did give you a little content. Um, it's slow going. It's going to take a little time. I got some new subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, it, it's just a wonderful thing for us to start uh, getting to know each other. This whole new idea of starting from scratch and uh, lost a few pounds. And uh, so it's all positive. And uh, it's all going good. I don't have uh, anything bad to say. You know, other than can't seem to get an unemployment check three to six weeks out. What a waste. Then you go on IRS.gov, still can't get that shit straightened out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with them. So, here we are. It's Friday night. Probably not going to talk to you until Sunday. Until the rain clears. We've got a front coming in, like I said. Once the rain clears and I go up there and check it out, we'll see uh, what reality states. It might be Monday or Tuesday before we uh, try to put that that beast. I watched it on the road today, believe me. It's, and the tires should be okay. Um, we'll see what happens, you know. Every day is a new day. Take care of each other and yourselves, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon.